Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be of my everyday hair routine and I'm going to warn you guys now it is super simple and super easy and it takes me less than five minutes to do my hair and then go out the door. Now what I actually use is the GHD Platinum straightener. I was recently sent this and it has become a godsend. I actually used to set home because mum had one and I forgot to bring it back to Australia with me. But I've been using GHG since I was about 15, so for 13 years or so. So this is one of my old ones, which I think I've had from about 18, so it's probably 10 years old now. And I've got a slightly newer one in my cupboard, so this is GHG number three that's in my house. I'm hoarding them, what can I say? I'm a bit worried if one stops working that I'm not gonna have anything to do my hair with. But what I really love about this is how it really helps me to create these really sort of natural, loose waves. It's been really great for that. And I found that the heat on this isn't actually quite as strong as the heat on my old GHD. So it doesn't feel quite so bad when I'm using this on my hair. But anyway, uh, enough about me blabbering on. I am going to just jump straight into it. So right now my hair is dry, but typically when I've just washed my hair and it's a little bit damp still, I tend to use a couple of different sprays to try and protect my hair and protect it from any potential heat damage. So the first product that I use is from Paul Mitchell, and this is the Seal and Shine spray, which is supposed to protect and condition your hair and make it look really shiny. And I've actually found that since I've started using this, my hair is so much shinier and glossier than usual and probably a little bit less I was gonna say buffy, but I don't really think that's the right word. Like it's got a little bit more slickness to it, I suppose. And then the other product that I use is from OGX Organics and it is the Kukui Oil, which hydrates and defrizzes your hair. And I really like to use that just especially along the top because I do get some flyaways and that sort of thing which stick up and what's a little bit frizzy, which I absolutely hate. So I really, really enjoyed using this as well. And as you can see, I'm over halfway through the bottle, so I've been using this for quite a few months now. I've already got my heat styler going, and as I mentioned before, it is the GHD Platinum Styler. Uh, this is in the white color. What I really like about this is the fact that it feels really gentle on my hair. It actually doesn't feel anywhere near as hot as my old GHD here, which I don't even know which one this is because the names actually started to wear off. I've had it for that long and the other one again that I've got stashed away in my drawer I don't think that one's got a specific label on it either but I really like this and I also like the fact that it's curved because you'll see I tend to do waves every day and this really helps with creating those really natural looking waves which aren't too curly looking so the first thing that I do is I actually just go and I straighten all of my hair I don't do a perfect job at it at all because I'm going to be waving it afterwards and I don't want to put too much heat on my hair if I can avoid it so I'm just going to get started with that and as I said, I there's no real kind of method to this. I just grab all of my hair. I'm kind of quite fortunate because my hair is quite straight naturally. It's just got a slight wave through it. So it doesn't really need too much work to get it to the point where I'm ready to start waving it. I think if you wanted to be really precise, what you could do is you could use a clip or a hair tie and just clip up sections of your hair. As I mentioned, I don't really need to do that. So, and I also find this is so good that I don't actually need to. All right, so my hair is pretty much all straight. I don't know if you noticed, but my problem area tends to be my ends, just as they tend to curl under and I absolutely hate that look. So I'm just gonna go over them once more, just grabbing it all. I don't have as much hair as I used to, so it makes it a lot easier. And now that my hair is all straight, I'm going to start waving sections. So what I do is I use my GHG straightener and twisting my hair around away from my face, it creates some really, really beautiful curls. And I love the fact that this is rounded as opposed to this one here, which I'm not really sure if you can tell, but it doesn't really have that quite such a smooth rounded off effect. So I end up getting really, really curly curls with this, whereas when I use this to do my hair, it's a lot more natural and wavy. So I'm just going to start on my right side and just start going with that. So as you can see, it's kind of just like a really nice soft sort of a wave and I'm just going to keep doing that throughout the rest of my hair. 
just really taking my time. I think if you want to create much stronger, bolder looking waves or curls, then you really want to take your time. Whereas if you just want to do really loose looking ones, then you can run the straightener through your hair a lot faster. I just grab small sections and twist. And this really is quite possibly the easiest hairstyle ever. <laughs> I'll also do a couple underneath as well, just to add a little bit more volume, as otherwise the curls tend to sit a little bit kind of flat. And now that side is kind of done, I hope you guys can see it on camera, and I'm just going to do the other side now. And again, curling away from my face. Uh, so I'm hoping that this shows up. I know my hair is super dark, so it's a lot harder to kind of see all of the detail, but I'm hoping you guys can kind of see that. And sometimes what I'll do after I finish waving all of my hair is I'll go through it just slightly over the top with the straightener just to kind of make sure that it's not sticking out anywhere where I don't want it to be sticking out and just to really even out the waves. So this is pretty much the finished look. What I tend to do after I finished uh, styling my hair is I will also put in a little bit of the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum just to, again, kind of smooth out any flyaways. And I find that it just really helps to condition and add a little bit of glossiness to my hair. So I'm just rubbing that between my hands and then going to very lightly pop that through my hair. I find that this also helps to break up any curls that are kind of a bit too lumped together. You know when you get those really big sort of barrel curls, obviously I'm not using barrel curler, I'm using a straightener, but I don't really like that look. I like it to look a little bit more piecey and a little bit more messy. So quite possibly the easiest daily hair routine ever. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this very quick video and that maybe it gave you a couple of ideas on how to style your hair when you are trying to rush out of the door and don't have too much time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.